Hey YouTube, it's Aldo, and welcome to episode 15 of my Mass Effect Let's Play. Last time, we became a Spectre, which is awesome. And this time, we're gonna get our ship and talk to some people. And that's probably about it. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is Of course, yours. we all knew that was gonna be ours, didn't we? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. It doesn't actually make sense, because he you does, hasn't your own had ship. it for that long. This was the can't first voyage. Anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. 20 years ago? What happened? I this failed. is what um, I couldn't make the Harkin was talking it's about. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you Surely have a they to knew make Saren was mistakes. biased against uh, Saren's humans. not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit? And we stopped the We're Reapers taking a return. lot of this stuff on face value. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. That's actually the we path I'm going to be taking. She was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis I'm Tau. Pretty sure cluster. that's where they want you to leave. It's your go decision, to, Commander. As well, you're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political that's, fallout. That's nice of you. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. Batarians aren't actually trying in to the set up council, a facility so to they're basically AI your technology generic, out in not the verge. council people. Alliance Intel had done all it's the work. It's kind of funny. But the council wanted a specter in They're not we compromised. a uh, I was assigned to help race. Saren in his investigation. They're in the traverse We tracked the like scientist that. to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian Oh, and they also have like six eyes. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place Somehow it seems odd to me that he went from field Black operated to poured out extra the extreme decorated captain. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. That's a Most lot of dead civilians. people. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. So they take Saren's word for it, but not mine. Maybe they're racist, too. Why'd you let him get away with it? That's not Who what I wanted to say. Who do you think the Council say? was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? 
I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping That's Sarah. That's not what I said. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. See, apparently, he sounds like he's responding to what I chose instead of what I said. Um... Just the one. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. It may take I me a while go. to actually remember here, where it is. Because I can never remember the name of the system. Uh, they're all Greek. I think that's the one with all the Greek ones. Uh, Athens, Sparta, Mycenae. And Corinth. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. How is that de decontamination? I guess it could be. Like black lights? Decontamination in progress. This is taking longer than normal because my computer is pretty busy at the moment. Uploading decontamination stuff and in progress. Grabsing and trying to play games, and this is taking forever. Oh my gosh. Decontamination in progress. Usually it only goes back once for me, so this is ridiculous. Decontamination in progress. Come on. Decontamination Come in progress. On. You've got to be kidding me. Decontamination in progress. It's not frozen. This is just spectacular. Anyways, I'll talk about something while I wait. Decontamination um, in progress. Though that noise is getting very irritating. Um. Anyways, uh, Mass Effect One follows a fairly progress. typical Bioware style of game, much like Knights of, Knights of the Old Republic, in where you have the uh, tutorial level. You have an in introduction level after that, and then you can choose from three or four different areas to go to after that. Uh, we just got introduced to those three areas. Pharos, Novaria, and the Artemis Tau cluster. Uh, Pharos and Novaria are both full-fledged planets. Artemis Tau is not. You're just searching the cluster, um, which has a bunch of random planets on it for the planet Liara is actually on. And this should not be taking this long. Decontamination in progress. Finally! Anyone want to time that for me? To Captain Good. Survives a hundred battles and gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their channel. The reason that took so long is because I'm uploading at the same time. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the Epic crew? Epic speech time. Now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. So, you think well said, uh, Krogans Captain don't have the balls to do this, huh? Yeah, maybe not Asari or Salarians? Uh. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the Captain proud, we better get this. This would be a nice ending here. point. Unfortunately, yes, we have five minutes left. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Yay, codex entries. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure Rex and Garrus were really impressed with that part. I like the Paragon speech a lot better than the Renegade one, actually. Hello, Presley. I'm gonna go down and talk to Ashley and Caden since we haven't talked to them in a long time. And that's probably going to be all that we have time for. If we have time for both of them, actually. So, I'm going to talk to Caden first. Because I feel like talking to Caden first. Hey, 
Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things. Okay, he's not talking about the Citadel. getting to Eden Prime sooner, and we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of well, what if the he doesn't want to talk to me. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time. For you haven't talked to me at all, we'll Caden. For personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. I guess I'll have to talk to Rex and at Rex and Garrus because I don't think these two are going to talk to me. I don't feel like talking to Chocolas. Though I will have to go there before I go somewhere. So I can grab some, um, meta gel. Sorry for that, I had to, had to talk to someone real quick. Um, Commander? What's your opinion to on the last mission? Kind of wish you got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... They died, you lived. That happens uh, in this Cold. Job. Yes, Commander. Believe me, I understand that. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The answer seems plain enough to me. <laughs> Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. That's... That's the armory? I don't think that's the armory for the entire ship. There's Garrus. Rex. Let's go talk to the engineer. Just for grins. Oh, Tally's down here too. Hi, Tally. Can I look at the core? No, I did that already. Hey, Commander. You know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board, <laughs> and she'll know more about our engines than I do. Quarians are like she's that. She's got a real knack for technology. That one. Because the Quarians live on a floating fleet because the Geth kind of took over the homeworld. So, yeah. I want to know more about the Normandy. So, and they're all junkers the and ship things like that. So they're really good at really good ship mechanics. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. Just a What's little so bit of back, about background to the Normandy core. itself. Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Fill me in on this the is IES the really uh, How does it unusual work exactly? part about the uh, stealth system. You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. This is actually so uh, reasonable the energy we give off scientifically. Storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the Except that would be really hard to do. A few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Yep. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, so they you can't rely see on us. radar and accelerate to FTL speeds. Why does you do the same thing now in, on the ocean and the in the air. You don't use emissions. visual Pushes sight very often. You use radar and, and things like that. Like I mean, even fire. most of the time in dogfights, you cannot, you can't even see the plane you're shooting at. You're just targeting it. Nowadays, with jet fighters. Our systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Carry on, Adams. Anyways, um, that's it for episode 15, and this week. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry if the quality was a little less than it was last week. I was kind of rushed. Um, thanks for watching. Like, like the video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. All that good stuff. Oh, and don't forget to tell your friends uh, on just if you actually talk to them or Twitter or Facebook or anything. All that awesome stuff. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later next week. Bye.